Vanilla Ranch is a small, secluded, exclusive little camp which is outside the national parks. Uh, it lies right in the in the wildlife corridor, linking all the game between Tarangiri National Park and Manyara National Park. Uh, it's a small camp with only six tents that all can be made into doubles, triples, and singles. And uh, each tent have their own private little veranda where you can enjoy a sundowner or a nice cappuccino in the mornings. Uh, they all also have their own and suite bathrooms with a flush toilet, and actually they are also very well known for our or the best showers in the northern circuit in Tanzania. So the fact that we are outside a national park allows us to do a lot of activities off the beaten track here. And uh, one of them being game grass, but you know, we're allowed to do, go out during daytime, early morning and late afternoon, which normally is the time when the game are the most active. And also a fantastic way to, to see different species here is to go out during the night. And species such as, rare species such as aardvarks, aardwolves and striped hyenas, we do spot here quite often on night drives. And it's just something that is very rare to be able to see anywhere else apart from here on Manyara. And then the walking is... Yeah, also walk, walking here in the Conservancy is, a, I believe, the best way to be on safari. If you leave the car behind, um, you, you leave the, the smell of diesel and the noisy engine behind, head out on foot, start tracking some of the game that you can find around camp. Um, and whether you do it on foot or on horseback, it makes no difference. And on game drives, the fact that we can go off the road um, and uh, follow things. You can spend afternoon with a, with a leopard and her cubs if you, if you feel so. And, uh, so it's really nice to be able to be free and flexible with the activities that we do here. Whether you want to spend the afternoon walking on a horseback ride with Joe or a game, game viewing hide at the waterhole, just sitting down, um, generally ending with a nice gin and tonic. So we can also uh, pull you out and take you off into the communities and have a bit of a cultural experience. Um, yeah, and also on the ground here, we do try to <coughs> employ as many Maasai's as possible. And we're also now putting them, through, putting them through training to become guides. And they're also allowing us to actually take people coming to experience Manyara, but also to see how the Maasai's lives and taking them to their homes, where they can interact with the Maasai to see how they live, like the house that they call the Bomas and the Manyatas. And it's just a different sp perspective and also to get an idea actually how people do live in Africa or in Tanzania. And another important thing there is the fact that um, that you don't go to a very touristic place. This is not a set up uh, house where the Maasai lives. It's someone from the from the ranch willing to to show you their their home. Mm -hmm.